Aquarius, Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I appreciate your time. Also, I uh, appreciate you hitting that like button while you're thinking about it. Hitting that old subscribe button while you're thinking about it. Thank you, my friends, for all your support. Big shout out and thank you to all my Aquarius friends that have blessed me with donations. Many of you, very kind of you. I uh, appreciate them all, large or small. Thank you so very much for it. Um, Aquarius, if you bless me with a donation, thank you. And a big shout out. Thank you to all my Ramblin' Nation members. I love you guys. Thank you for all your continued support month after month. Definitely, uh, I mean, one of the perks is you get to see these videos, you know, before anybody else. Uh, many times a week in advance to anybody else. Um, and also, uh, I've been putting together, whoa, Aquarius had Queen of Swords jump out right there. Um, but we'll get to a love reading here in a minute. Um, I want to talk about Wednesday, Friends Day, for my members only, uh, live readings, smaller, more intimate groups. It's very nice. Um, I like Wednesday, Friends Days. My next one will be June 3rd. Wednesday evening, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll be going live with my members. I like to give away a lot of stuff. I grabbed a couple of shirts this time. It's a, it's the green, sea green, ooey gooey, soft and chewy, nice pastel. And I got a red a winter winter chicken dinner. Going to give away these two t-shirts on Wednesday night. Also going to give away an amazing tarot deck. Uh, Cyril Marchetti's uh, Tarot of Dreams. Absolutely love this deck. It's gorgeous. I love all of his work. I mean, who doesn't in the tarot world? He definitely changed the face of tarot. Uh, I want to show you a couple cards. I'm going to be giving this deck away. I modified these. I cut this down. It's much smaller. Many of you know this is a very large deck. Uh, but I want to show a couple of Aquarius cards. Uh, there's the star. Love it, huh? Here's the king of swords. That's Aquarius. Five of swords is Venus in Aquarius. Six of swords. I love this one, huh? Six of swords is Mercury in Venus and seven of swords love that one too is the moon in Aquarius um, uh, now this deck also comes with an amazing book very nice book with this kit uh, full of all kinds of uh, amazing descriptions it's a nice book and um, also, on Wednesday night, I'm going to be giving away a free reading with me. So, if you're interested in coming playing with us on Wednesday nights, Wednesday Friends Day, hit that join button down below. Or, uh, if you can't find the join button, then uh, there's a link in my description below. Anyway, of course, I'll be doing Sunday Fun Day. Uh, that Sunday Fun Day is going to be June 7th. 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Hope I see you at either one of those live broadcasts. I want to give a couple shout-outs to some of my Ramblin' Nation members that have YouTube's channels. Uh, uh, Serendipitous Rendezvous, a nice young lady. You might enjoy her uh, YouTube channel. I know I do. Um, Moon Dream Healing. She's fun. She plays with the tarot. And Strawberry Moon Insight with Barb. Um, uh, Barb, I love your channel. It's coming together more better every time. Every time I watch you, uh, I enjoy your uh, readings better and better every time. So thanks, uh, Barb. More. That's Strawberry Moon Insight. Check them out. Uh, moon Dream Healing and Serendipitous Rendezvous. Check them out if you like. All right. Aquarius. Let's play some cards here, huh? Let's see. Let's see what the uh, tarot has to say for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. A little look-see at love. 
you know, I have sources to put these out, uh, you know, first person perspective. Uh, but they can play out vice versa. We all know. We all know the rules of tarot. I'm not going over it. Um, if you see yourself in here, or you see your friend in here, have fun with it. That's what it's all about, having fun today. Just shuffle your cards for a minute right here, Aquarius. Okay. Let's go with this. I'm going to tune in. Hey, Tower I Love Team, Aquarius is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Aquarius see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Aquarius' highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Aquarius. Cutting the deck. Going to give you a nice full spread. First card out. Four of Cups. The old card of reevaluation. Sitting under the old oak tree, looking at love, past, present, projected future. You know, and the old golden cup floating around up there. It's water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm not sure who this is, if this is you, Aquarius, or your friend. But somebody's sitting under the old oak tree, wondering if they're going, you know, do I want to tie that old yellow ribbon around that old oak tree? I got uh, the Hierophant came out underneath that. That's Taurus. May mean something to you, may not. Wow, there's a reevaluation going on. This is a commitment card, huh, guys? This is the, the Pope of the Tarot deck. He's the Hierophant. Wow, he's all about a committed relationship. Somebody may be sitting under the old oak tree uh, looking at you, Aquarius. Like, is Aquarius the golden cup? Let's see where this goes. This is really interesting. The Hierophant in the middle. Because the Hierophant, he's always about being streetwise and spiritual at the same time. Being the student and the teacher at the same time. Hierophant, you know, he's about all the wisdom that come into your life because of the, these love journeys, huh? It's also about a committed relationship. I think somebody's a little fickled about uh, about you, Aquarius. Let's see where this goes right here. Well, Ten of Pentacles at the base right there. I mean, who doesn't love Ten of Pentacles? Wow. Ten of Pentacles and, and the Hierophant. Maybe you could have had some kind of solid, committed relationship with this person at one time or the potential of it to come to pass. Four of Cups can talk with me about somebody thinking about, you know, maybe I've lost my opportunity with my Aquarian. There was a time when there was a solid committedness behind, between us of some way or another right here. But a 10 may have come to an end. Let's see where the spread goes. Whoa, see the wheels spinning here, Aquarius. A major arcana, major life force card, the wheel of fortune. Wheel spinning here, Aquarius. That's for sure. Another major arcana. This is going to have to do with Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. It is Jupiter, the planet of expansion and good luck. Spinning in an upward direction for my Aquarians. Winner, winner, ch chicken dinner. Something, uh, something's... Pretty heavy going on here. And somebody's sitting under that old tree. I don't think it's Aquarius. I don't think so. Here we go. What crowns it? The lovers. <laughs> Another major arcana, Aquarius. The lovers crowning your spread. You know, soulmate, twin flame, life partner energy. Crowning up your spread uh, right now. Somebody, somebody in the land of indecision. You know, because this is about... This is about making choices between lovers. It's not a fairy tale card at all. It is a real relationship card, you know. Somebody's forest is burning up over there. 
And uh, somebody's leaning up against the old apple tree being all seductive. You know, hey, lover, it's over here. Got Raphael up above him. Come on, peeps. We got Eden in the middle. And this is the story about closing the distance between these lovers right here. It comes behind the wheel. Uh, and and, and it, it followed with the majors. That's what I look at. The hair found right in the middle, you know, you know. Because the hair fan can be about a relationship that you signed up for with somebody in the 5D before you come here and play in the 3D, you know. And it looks like uh, somebody... <laughs> somebody be thinking about Ten of Pentacles and how it was with an Aquarian. Well, Aquarius, uh, in the immediate future, I got three of cups. I like this. Three of cups, it's a, it's a very exciting card about happiness and joy and bliss, the good life, being invited to parties, social events, all that kind of wonderful stuff. Three young ladies with their all, all with their cups raised to the divine, celebrating life, going from this level of cornucopia up the stairs, up to another level of cornucopia up there. Raising her vibration. Can be a card about meeting somebody new. New and exciting people. Can be a card about uh, reconciliation as well. And happiness and joy and bliss. Either way, Aquarius, happiness and joy and bliss is coming into your life right here. With somebody that's going to be interested in a committed relationship with you. The wheel's spinning in an upward direction, Aquarius. Uh, Let's see where this goes. That's, that's that cup energy again. See? Wherever they are, sitting under the tree, they're going to make an approach right here. They're going to make an approach. They they miss the good times that they had with their Aquarian. They're making a choice between lovers. I did get a damn three right here. I got a three, and I got a three. Okay, Aquarius? Let's see where we're going right here. Well, there comes Michael, the Archangel. I love it. Another major arcana. It's Sagittarius. May mean something to you. May not, my Aquarius friend. Shows Michael, the Archangel, right there. With the two cups in his hand. You know, the blending of the sacred masculine. The blending of the sacred feminine. You know, these peeps. And he working on it. He keeping his eyes on the rainbow. Mm -hmm. He don't look at nothing but rainbow. He's an angel. He's smart. They know that they create what they think, what they feel, and what they believe. It's about being balanced. Again, it's about all the cooperative components coming together for you. It's about being at the right place at the right time, Aquarius. It's about patience and seeing the vision. I like it. I like it a lot, sitting right there by Ten of Pentacles. I like it a lot. Here we go. Got a lot of cards. Let's see where this is going. I like the way this is unfolding, Aquarius. Got four of swords that came out. And four of swords in this spread sits on top of the four of cups and the Hierophant. And this is air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. But this is about... Taking a break. Taking a break from what? Yeah, somebody took a break from Ten of Pentacles. But this is a card of them spending time with Source right now. Uh, healing their heart. Healing their mind. Uh, because, well, shit, man. Their forest may be on fire. It's a rough world out there, you know. There's been some other cups. Been some other cups. I bet they got some cups spilled. Still can't get that golden cup out of their mind. Spending time with Source right now. You know, if this person used to go out and run around, that ain't out running around. That's spending quiet time with Source, healing their heart and healing their mind, using this fourth sword down here to cut things out of their life they no longer serve them for their highest good because they can't stop thinking about the golden cup. 
powerful read right here, Aquarius. Here we go. Six of Swords, look at that, you know, in the hopes position. It's very positive, you know, it lines up with seeing the vision. And Six of Swords would be, you know, coming out of the choppy waters. Oh, Swordsy right here. You know, oh, Swordsy, the one whose force is on fire, whatever zodiac they are. Um, you know, it's it's the hope right here, you know, that's going to come out of the choppy waters. Now, I would see this as source bringing this person out. You know, they're kind of sad. I bet they did learn a lot of life lessons where they're at. You know, I keep looking at that forest on fire right there. You know, she's definitely sad. Learned a whole lot of life lessons wherever they were at. Going to come over to Paradise Island over here. Uh, that's where the golden cups at. I bet the, the vision of the golden cups over there on this island. And then that source is bringing them right here. I like it. It's about movement. Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Six of Swords is about movement forward. Coming out of challenging times. Aquarius, I got the King of Swords up on top of the spread. It's your card. <laughs> you know, and the old king of swords of the Terra Illuminati has his hands over his heart. Me protecting that old heart right there. That he is, you know. But uh, willing, you know, this is a card of communication. So I'm seeing communication here because somebody, somebody's spending some time with Source, and 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 and, and this is not having fun, you know, not really. Not really. It's kind of forced into the hermit mode kind of card. You know, they want some fun. They want three of cups again in their life. Um, I'm not sure if they're single, and and, and Aquarius isn't going to be sure if they're single either. Going to continue to uh, you know practice uh, the old heart saving uh, move right there. But it's a strong card of communication, and it's a strong card of strategy they're probably being very strategic about how they're going to approach their aquarium right here bottom of the deck yeah the high priestess on the bottom of the deck a major arcana it's pisces cancer uh may mean something to you may not but it's about somebody being led and guided by the divine uh-huh definitely see they're right there spending time with the divine there it is. And, you know, the high priestess can talk about their silence between these two for maybe a long season. Maybe some damn secrets, you know. But you ain't hiding nothing from the high priestess. I mean, if Aquarius is tuned in right there, all this is just like, yeah, that's really what's going on. And you just know it in your knower, but. Nice cards off the bottom of the deck, Aquarius. The Empress came out, another major arcana. This is Aries. This is Taurus. It's also Libra. It's Venus, the planet of love and abundance. You know, it's all about new beginnings. New beginnings coming in here and for love and abundance. Somebody being led and guided by the divine to their Empress. Male or female. And Eight of Pentacles. Right behind that is an amazing card of it's them working at the situation. Them being focused. Pouring that metal into that uh, coin right there. Then it cooled down. Showing everybody, uh, this is what I'm working on. And, you know... A very high vibrational meaning for Eight of Pentacles is life purpose. You know, somebody's being led to their empress who would be their life purpose. And this says that it's a pinnacle. It's touchable, tangible. Uh, it looks like they're going to come in and put some work at this. And that's what Aquarius would be expecting from them. Because uh, well, their forest is on fire right over there. Uh, I see it right here. Here's a story. Yeah. I got to show you these off the bottom of the deck. Oh, why not? We're here. Our Princess of Wands. That's passionate communication coming in here. 
soon and very soon from my Aquarius, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, also Earth in this, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. That's passionate communication, something that somebody's wanted to do for a while, that's shattering the silence of the high priestess. Because these two with high priestess, they deal with each other in the 5D, but there may be separation in the 3D. But this is breaking that right here. Because somebody wants to come in and work at this. Why? The time has come. The time has come. Two of Pentacles behind that. Uh, learning the dance of change is what I call this card. Um, it's the juggler. It's the juggler. We all know this story, huh? The two, the two ships that pass on the rough seas. Uh, the sails are tattered and the seas are rough. But those ships have never sank. And the... Two pinnacles in the dancer's hands have never really hit the ground because there's an infinity symbol between these two right here. This is somebody learning the dance of change. And, um, I mean, they're showing up as a princess and showing up as, as somebody learning the dance of change. So, eyes wide open, huh, Aquarius? But I know that because, I mean, look at our king of swords right there. Got a king of wands here. It's uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and uh, the old king of passion right there. You know, the one that gets up and goes and gets what they want, Aquarius. Uh, got their hand on their chin because they be thinking about Aquarius all day long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here it is. The Ace of Wands behind that. A passionate new beginning. I do want to say with that Ace, though, huh? If you've watched me for a while, that, that old Ace of Wands can go out just as fast as it shows up. If there ain't no kindling, you know, because it's like striking a match. And go right out. Aquarius knows that about this person right here, but uh, there may be some serious heartfelt change because I see him dealing with Source, whoever that is to them. All right, let's play with the Witch's Tarot right here. Hey, love team, what is Four of Cups and the Hierophant about in the middle of the spread for Aquarius? Seven of Pentacles came out, Aquarius. That is that card of... Divine timing. Divine timing sitting by the wheel. Get ready, Aquarius. I don't I don't know if many of my Aquarius are watching me gonna be single much longer. Uh-uh. I, I got Michael right here, you know, and, and and this can talk about reunion as well, reunion of a divine relationship. You know, ten of pentacles right here, and it's in how Aquarius would see themselves. Try and stay balanced, but Definitely would desire a relationship with this person. May not jump right out there and tell them right away, huh, Aquarius? Because they probably weren't good to you. Many of these divines, they're not. They're knuckleheads. They, they go off and get all kinds of swords in their back, and then they come back and go, can you, can you get this out of my back? Oh, let me get that. Oh, I got it. Okay, there we go, yeah. All right. Ten of Pentacles. Why is it on the spread for Aquarius? Base of the spread. Why is it there? Ten of Wands. Looks to me like Aquarius put this situation down. Fire energy again. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ten of Wands. Put this put this Ten of Pentacles to, to rest because there wasn't equal give and take. A heavy, heavy burden. You know, not, the power couple, but one of them not being a power player in the power couple, you know. Leaving old Aquarius right here. With, with the heavy load. Aquarius said, I'm not carrying this heavy load around, you know. The old tree huggers that Aquarius are, you know, are learning that if those trees aren't hugging us back, we're not going to stand there and hug a tree that ain't hugging us back no more. No thanks. It's all good. Wheel of Fortune, why is it on this spread? Because two of swords, so swordsy right there, was in the land of indecision about what they were going to do. You know, it talks about karmic cycles coming to an end, the wheel, and the wheel spinning in an upward direction. But I would say that old swordsy right there have been in the land of indecision. Can, can get, couldn't get Aquarius out of their thoughts. 
No, not for a minute right there. They think you're good looking, exciting, passionate, charismatic. They couldn't get you out of their thoughts, but they live in the land of indecision. The only problem when you live in the land of indecision, if you sit there on that bitch too long, the tower is going to come. And source will knock you off that bench so that you can make a decision. Could have been what's happening right here because uh, there's four swords over here. So they shut down whatever they were doing. Spending time with source right now. Quiet. Prayer time. Mm. Yeah. May have hit a tower. They were in the land of indecision. When the wheel spun. Lovers. Why is it crowned as spread for Aquarius? Right there, there's your offer coming in, Aquarius. My Princess of Pentacles, touchable, tangible card about communication. This is telephone calls, face-to-face -face meetings. Hi, Aquarius. Um, I found this golden coin. You know, it's the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles, Aquarius. Um, I found it, and um, maybe we can build on this, you know. Maybe we can walk past this cherry blossom tree of good luck and good fortune, Aquarius. It's a, it's an offer, and it's a, I don't know, it's a pinnacle, so it is relatively stable. But again, I'm only seeing them show up as the princess, but they are showing up also with the Dance of Change card right here. And they can't get you out of their head. They, they are definitely very, very passionate about you. And if these two have anything in common, come on, it's passion. Unexplainable passion between these two. Three of Cups. Why is Three of Cups on here for Aquarius? Thank you, love team. Here we go. Three of Cups. Why is it here for Aquarius? Ten of Swords came out, Aquarius. Look at all these tens. Definitely a, an ending of a cycle here. Have the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of the Wheel of Fortune. There's a cycle wrapping up here for you, Aquarius. Ten of Swords talks about a completion of a painful cycle with a new day dawning. Sitting there by Three of Cups. I mean, that that's that new day dawning. Let's raise the vibration and go up here higher. Let's end this painful cycle. I would say that they, they want to end this painful cycle with you. They're just not as, well, I mean, you showed up as the empress. And then again, they've showed up repeatedly as a princess. I did have them show up one time as a king, the king of wands, who is, you know, friendly. Hmm. Temperance. Why is temperance on this butt? They definitely want to end a very painful cycle with you. It's been painful for them too, Aquarius. It's been painful for them. This journey hasn't been easy on your friend, regardless if they've been in your world or not. They don't like not being in your world, that's for sure. Temperance, that old patience card for Aquarius, stay in balance. That's a beautiful card for this journey right here, Aquarius. If this is resonating with you, you rock, you're amazing. Let's see what we got on that temperance card right there for Aquarius. Thank you, love team. Here we go, Aquarius. Why is temperance here? <laughs> oh, the Knight of Swords came out. Yeah, they coming rushing in. This is about a reunion. This is an old swordsy. Old swordsy can't stay away from their angelic one right here. The one that's balanced. The one that's doing the work. Oh, here comes old swordsy, the old knight of swords. Here they come, galloping in, nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof because they know they owe you about a thousand apologies. They don't know what you're going to do. They don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> I like them. They're, they're coming up to being a knight because this takes bravery and courage. This is movement. This is just talking about it. This is actually coming to see their aquarium right here. I got something to say to you, Aquarius. 
I got something important to say. And then if you don't want me around, I'll go. But I got to say something to you. Yeah. It's a fun spread, Aquarius. Here we go. Well, we got four swords because somebody ain't been out running around no more. Somebody spent time with swords healing their heart, healing their mind. That's a tough world out there. Yeah, yeah. All right, four of swords. Why is it on the spread for Aquarius? Star card came out, Aquarius. Look at these pictures, man. They're laying there on the bed talking to Source about their star. Great hope, great faith, the potential of their dreams to become reality. Shows that golden angelic being with the two cups. They keep showing up all over the spread. One pouring in the water, one pouring in the land. Probably some divines that have been in separation for a season right here. They want healing. It's a card of healing. You don't get the star card unless you've been through hell fire. This person's been through hell fire. Saw it there a long time ago with their forest burning up right over there. They've been going through hellfire. They want their Aquarius. They want their Aquarian healer. Six of swords. Why is it on this spread? There it is right there. Because look, man, they want to go over to Paradise Island right over there where three cups are at. Happiness, joy, bliss, reunion. It's nice stuff, Aquarius. Happy for you. King of Swords, why are they on the spread? Cold and detached on the outside, but inside ooey gooey, soft and chewy. Shh, I won't tell them, Aquarius. I won't. I won't. Here we go. King of Swords, why are they on the spread for Aquarius? Five of Pentacles. You know, and that's generally uh, with this story right here. Five of Pentacles is feeling out in the and with this story right here, you know, these are soulmates that can play with each other incarnation after incarnation. When one feels left out in the cold, the other one feels it too, you know. And it's mutual. Both of you, I would say, miss each other and all that. I want one more on that. One more on that. And Seven of Wands, I mean... If they don't come in and play right with the Aquarius, you're going to put them back out in the cold again. Seven of seven of Wands is my hero's card. Takes bravery to stand up and do what's best for you. Choose the path that you're going to go down. Doesn't matter who likes it or who don't like it. But one thing is for sure, that's the new sheriff in town. I'm going to draw a line in the sand with this person right here. And you're just not going to play with them the way that they, they used to play because that's how the story came out last time. Aquarius ain't going down that road again, man. Yeah, see what's on the bottom of the deck. This is a nice love story, Aquarius. I'm telling you, it's really nice, man. Because there's the lover. There's the one that makes the heart go boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, 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 huh, Aquarius? And they come a prancing in. Hi, Aquarius. Here's my cup. And again, I mean, I see him graduating from the page to the night. You know, and the waterfall starts crushing down. Whoosh. Because see, there's the hermit right there. Virgo may mean something to you, may not. But this is them right here doing that inner work. Look at this story right here, Aquarius. That's them doing the inner work. Healing their heart, healing their mind, found the star down inside of themselves. That star of great hope, great faith, the potential of their dreams to become reality. The Hermit's all about being led and guided by the divine. It's a single card. Um, it's a time, it's the sage card. They've been doing work on themselves right here. That's a, that's that's nice, Aquarius. Let's see what else we got off the bottom of the deck. They've definitely been doing some work. Look at all these major arcanas. Get ready for some major change, Aquarius. There's the high priestess yet again. So they're dreaming about you. Uh, they talk with you in the 5D. 
Uh, they want to break the silence, you know. They're being led and guided, you know, towards their star. And it's not going to be long, man. Here they come. Boom, right there, man. Chariot came out. Another major arcana. The old dark pony, light pony, wild pony ride. But Aquarius, somebody's been tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine and driving their chariot exactly where they want it to go. This is a card of movement forward movement towards victory right here it's nice and i gotta i gotta show you man uh, one more temperance came out i love it when this happens you know we got the male and the female temperance cards right here you know all the cooperative components coming together everybody's seeing the rainbows very nice aquarius i mean it has begun right here. It has absolutely begun to change. Um, be friendly, be happy, all that. I know I know. if they don't play with you right, you're just going to drop the sword on, but they know that too, Aquarius. Let's play with a couple more cards here. I, I like it for you, Aquarius. I feel good right now. I feel good. Here we go. Oh, look at numbing came out. Look at that dark night of the soul. Look at what you've done to them, Aquarian. <laughs> or what they've done to themselves. Numbing could talk about drinking a little bit, you know, a little bit of recreational whatevers. Mm -hmm. The awakening. Blowing their little mind right there. Numbing came out. Uh, and that is quite numbing what I'm seeing right here. Uh, they are definitely going to get their courage up. They don't want. They don't. They don't want to lose their Aquarian. As, uh, I mean, uh, Aquarian, you are the star. They've realized that you're the star. Not everybody out there is a star. Here we go. What have we got? Look at that release. That's interesting. Oh! 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 See, they're fearful that you're going to release them forever. Blowing their mind. They're like, oh my God, I am going to lose my aquarium. Whoopsie. Here we go, one more. What do we got? I like this reading. Oh, they probably... Watch their Aquarian right here. Use their power of self-worth. And uh, they definitely... Um, well, this is definitely concerned that you're going to leave them. Oh, abandonment issues and all kinds of shit I'm looking at right here. Yeah. One more, one more, one more. They, they, they want that self-worth that you've found, Aquarius. Yeah, signs from the universe. Very interesting. Signs all pointing towards, you know, it's, a, you know, all, all pointing towards the balancing of the scales. I would say there's still a little bit of darkness, but they're definitely coming out of it. Something's happening to them. They're afraid, they're afraid you're going to leave them forever. And, you know, you might, you might. With seven of wands and five of pentacles up there, they don't like it. They don't like that you blocked them. Uh, they don't like that you left them out in the cold. They don't like that. Let's play with the love card right here. Romantic feelings. Look at that. Look at that. They figured it out. They have romantic feelings for you, Aquarius. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm feeling it. it it's growing. <laughs> It'll Scrooge. Romantic feelings. Yes, these feelings are real and worth exploring. I, I knew it, Aquarius. Playfulness came out. That doesn't surprise me at all. Because that old King of Swords up there. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. You, it's kind of like, mm, you need to step very lightly. Mm-hmm. But this says to recapture romance, my Aquarius friend. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. There's no pressure. They're just taking a day, playing a little kissy face with each other. 
nothing serious. Sitting on a swing, crashing a park. <laughs> they go sit on a swing for the day and enjoy those romantic feelings. That's right there. It's you, Aquarius. You've been doing this, haven't you? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations will help bring you together. Goes without no surprise that forgiving and learning was on the bottom of the deck as well, Aquarius, huh? And how many of us know, you know, that forgiveness is not for them? Couldn't possibly be. They don't know if you've really forgiven them or not anyway. So how could it be for them? It's not for them. It's for you. So don't carry around all that toxic energy and all that. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Walk in love, walk in light, and walk in forgiveness. Because, uh, anyway, it's all for you. Let's do a major on this right here, Aquarius. What do we got for Aquarius, love team? <laughs> Judgment. Judgment came out, Aquarius. Looks like Aquarius is going to be making a judgment call right here. You know, it's all about second chances, third chances, 115th chances. It's all about Phoenix from the Ashes. It's definitely all about you realizing that you're creating your own reality by what you think, what you feel, and what you believe. Judgment. And uh, Death Card came out. Scorpio Energy. Uh, this thing could have been dead, 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 dog in the road dead. I don't know how many eons this goes back for many of my Aquarians with this individual. But uh, the death cycle talks about death, birth, and resurrection as an overall. It's my favorite card, Aquarius, because it talks about metamorphosis change happening here for you, for the better. Quite a painful experience, no doubt about it. But um, what don't kill you always makes you stronger. Death card, major transformation coming in here. Judgment, Phoenix from the Ashes. Powerful stuff, Aquarius. Have fun this month. I got two, three of cups. I know you will have fun this month. I love you, Aquarius. I'll talk to you soon. Namaste. Love and light. Bye for now.